This video will show you how to start creating a new schematic in PAD, including creating a border, searching for symbols, placing them, and more. Add a border by right-clicking in the working area, then select Insert Border. You can change the border at any time. Simply right-click and pick Change Border from the menu. Select the sheet from the Borders Library partition. Next, we can start manually placing parts in our schematic. In XDX Databook, type RES in the Filter field. Only symbols starting with RES are shown. Choose Resistor 1 and drag the symbol into the schematic working area. Let's add a second symbol. Enter CAPN in the Symbol Filter entry. Select CAPNONPOL and drag it to the schematic as well. Now, we'll add two more parts to our schematic. As you can see, placing parts using XDX Designer is easy and intuitive. Let's add a power and ground connections as well. Open the Settings dialog using Setup Settings. Navigate to Project Special Components. Then select Power from the drop down menu and verify that Power 1 symbol is available from the built in partition. Now choose Ground from the drop down menu and verify symbol GND.1 exists. You will have the power and ground symbols available from the special components icon. Select the power symbol from the available choices and place it in the working area. Follow the same steps to add a ground symbol to the schematic. PADS also has a My Part dialog which can enhance your productivity by allowing placement of commonly used symbols along with favorite and recently used symbols. Select View My Parts to open the toolbox. Click the recently used section of My Parts. Then place one more power and ground symbols on the schematic. Click on the favorite section of My Parts. Then from the symbol preview drag the symbol into the section to add it as favorite. To save time, you can also copy symbols placed in your schematic by simply pressing the control key and the left mouse button. Then drop the symbol in the correct location. Another available option in pads is to add multiple objects using the array feature. Select the symbol and click on the array button to begin the process. Fill in the array box with the required values and click OK. The parts are automatically added and as you drag the cursor, you can expand the array until the parts are spaced. Rotate your components by simply clicking the Rotate Toolbar icon. On the Grid Toolbar, enable Show Alignment Markers. Select any symbol and note the dynamic alignment markers, showing that the symbols are aligned and at the same spacing as the others, both for X and Y axis. Thank you for joining this VLAB.